Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host and in today's news, rumor has it Meghan Markle could be heading back to Hollywood sometime soon. The Duchess quit acting to marry Prince Harry in 2018. And in light of their recent shock departure from the royal family, it has been speculated she will return to acting. According to Us Weekly Hot Hollywood podcast, Meghan is rumored to be actively looking for roles on the big screen and is willing to step back into Hollywood spotlight. Megan is actively looking for representation. She has begun outreach, a source reportedly told the publication. It can be a manager or an agent, but she's reaching out to people to find someone to represent her for future professional projects. The whispers aren't the first sign Megan is keen to return to acting, with Harry previously revealing at the Lion King premiere his bride does voiceovers. Within six months... <clears throat> <clears throat> Within six months of the red carpet revelation, it was reported that Meghan had signed a voiceover deal with Disney in return for a donation to charity Elephants Without Borders. Meghan rose to fame playing Rachel Zane in the legal drama Suits before quitting acting to marry her beau in 2018. Since then, there have been multiple reports that the Duchess is longing to get back into acting and in the light of recent events, a TV or movie role could be in the cards. Megan's rumored return to Hollywood comes after it was speculated that her recent relocation to Canada may have jeopardized her five-year process of citizenship. According to Express, Megan's time out of the country could ruin her chances of becoming a natural Briton, or at least affect her eligibility this time round. According to... Oh, the government website states, in order to be eligible for British citizenship, an applicant must adhere to strict criteria which includes remaining in the country for a set period. You should not have spent more than 270 days outside of the UK during the three years before your application, or spent more than 90 days outside the UK in the last 12 months, the website states. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you next video.